What is going on guys? Joey Suggs here. Welcome to today's video. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Welcome back if you've been here before. But most importantly, welcome to Road to Rift episode number five. We got a lot to cover. There's been some ups, there's been some downs, there's quite a bit to talk about. But right now, I'm about to make probably one of the healthiest and best tasting breakfast sandwiches you will ever see in your entire life. Let me show you how. All right, we got our egg cooking up over here, looking very good. And Thomas makes bagel thins. Instead of being like 270 calories, like some of the bagels I have over there, uh, it's only 80 calories. Nine grams of protein for 80 calories for one bagel. That's crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead, toss one of these in the toaster. All right, we're gonna try and flip this egg very, uh oh, fuck it, one, two, three. Oh shit, oh shit. All right, maybe not perfect, but it's fine. Bagels out of the toaster. Next, I'm gonna use some light cream cheese on both sides. I have three slices of this butterball turkey bacon going in the microwave. And now these I can go ahead and layer on top. All right, next up, we're getting a little weird, but I promise it's good, strawberry jelly. And just a little bit on each side. Then of course our egg, beautifully laid on top. Stick with me here, we're gonna do Frank's Red Hot. Just a small drizzle over top. Top things off, a slice of cheese and here we have it, people. I mean, come on. That looks like something you would buy at a store, pay a lot of money for, and it would be a lot of calories. I have a feeling this is about to get messy, but let's dive in. That's unreal. It's unreal. So I'm not even really a big breakfast sandwich fan, but Perry is the one who's kind of making a very similar sandwich to this. And so I thought I can probably make it a little lower calorie and still be delicious, and that is exactly how this turned out. The yolk is perfectly cooked, the bacon is crispy, bagel is crispy, the cream cheese and the cheese in there with both the jam and the hot sauce. There's so much going on, but I'm telling you, it all plays so nicely together in there. Mm. Now, if this simple, low-calorie, high-protein recipe doesn't deserve a like on this video, I don't know what does, because it doesn't get any better than this. I would eat this every single day, whether I was cutting, bulking, maintaining, it is amazing. All right, I just had to munch that entire meal as quick as possible because it was that good. But I'm honestly just as impressed with the calories and macros as I am with the flavor. Uh, I just put everything in 330 calories for a, a breakfast sandwich. I feel like you get that anywhere else, it's gonna be like 750 or like 800 calories for the same exact thing with a little different ingredients and almost 30 grams of protein. Uh, it, I didn't want this to be like a really high protein first meal, uh, but it ended up being pretty balanced, which is pretty good. So this recipe was incredible, which means it's definitely gonna be in my update of my cookbook. But if you buy the cookbook now, you're gonna get that update for free and you're gonna avoid the price hike that will happen when the cookbook recipes pretty much double. So if you wanna check out my cookbook, it is the best way to support the channel. It's the first link down below. And I do really appreciate everyone who's been getting it, enjoying it. I've been getting some really good feedback from it. So uh, first meal done, I kinda want something sweet as like a breakfast dessert and I kinda have the perfect thing in mind. And it's a combination of a couple different things, but the main thing being an Oikos triple zero. I've been having this little, uh, it's either a dessert or a snack for me quite a bit recently. It just consists of one Oikos triple zero. And in that triple zero, I do just a small handful of blueberries, sprinkle those over top. And just a few of the Lily's uh, Stevia sweet and chocolate chips. Same thing here. So it looks pretty appetizing. Just give it a quick mix all together and uh, you're ready to enjoy a sweet treat after a meal or like a dessert at the end of the night. And it definitely hits the spot. I never really liked yogurt until I started mixing things with different consistencies and textures into yogurt. It makes a huge difference for whatever reason. So right about 150 calories in this little breakfast dessert and it brought our protein up a little bit as well, which is really nice. So for a complete first meal, we had a savory, savory dish and then uh, polished it off with something sweet. The day goes on, I'm satisfied, all is well. All right, I have been hard at work in the garage gym. We got a couple new things, including some dumbbells. 
um, and I'm just trying to get some stuff organized. But before my workout today, I wanna to get a little more carbs in me, and I actually prepared something earlier this morning uh, that should do just that. So we're about to have this as our pre-workout meal. All right, people, there is a lot going on in this spoonful right here. Mmm, but it is like really, really delicious. Let me run you through exactly what's in it. So the first thing is one serving of oats, some overnight oats, and that's this stuff right here. Uh, we actually got it at Costco in like the Costco video, but I didn't talk about it then. But since I've been having it, I've been really, really impressed. If you're someone who likes like a thick overnight oats like I do, this is the best way I've found to do it. Blended oats with chia seeds, flax, and hemp. Um, I don't know, it's honestly really good. Perry just uses water. In this recipe, I used uh, Fairlife fat-free milk. I think it adds a little bit of better consistency and a decent amount more protein. And I think what makes it thicker is that it has oat milk powder in it. So it's not just oats, it has the seeds, the oat milk powder, and that makes actually a big difference in the consistency for sure. Then I added one big scoop of protein, uh, one that just adds more protein in the mix. And also it's like a blueberry flavor, so it does help add a little more flavor. Now to top it off, there's a million different things you could do. I just did some blueberries and some chocolate chips, very similar to our yogurt this morning, but I've been enjoying that combo. So here we have it. It's a really, really like, when I say thick consistency, it's a good thick consistency. And that means it's also gonna be really, really filling too. I didn't show it at first because Perry bought it and I didn't think I was gonna enjoy it. But when I've had it a couple of times, really, really good. It said you're supposed to leave it in the water or milk for like four hours. I only did this for like three hours or not even three hours. It was honestly good after like an hour. So I think it's more of like a recommendation. So if you wanna like make it and eat it pretty quick, I think you can still do that. This is kind of a lot to put down really quick. So let's go over calories and macros real quick. So obviously I wanted some good carbs before the workout. That's exactly what we got in here. Uh, under 500 calories, around 475. That's really nice. Under 1,000 calories for the day. That's awesome. Pop into the macros. Sitting at right at 90 grams of protein. That's really good. As I'm going through the day, I'm trying to have my first two numbers of my calories be pretty close to my first two numbers of grams of protein. So we're doing pretty good on that front. And we've been eating some like really, really good dense foods. That's not just like meat and rice. So yeah, another satisfying meal. I'm gonna put this down and let's get on to a lift. All right, I just finished up a little 15 minute walk. Now we can get into our workout and we're actually gonna do the first leg day of Road to Rip that I've shown at least. Um, so I'm pretty excited. I just got uh, this new piece of equipment in. It's like a leg curl, leg extension machine. It's decent. Um, it was pretty cheap. It was like 300 bucks. And I think it's gonna at least help close that gap. I'm actually gonna do a little warm up on it right now. I'm gonna do more of a quad focused leg day. So first thing we're gonna do is hop on this leg extension. And I'm gonna do probably two warm up sets before I get into actual working sets. And I'm gonna do three working sets of probably around 10 to 12 for a total five sets. And that should get us nice and warmed up on the quads. All right, yeah, uh, definitely not bad at all for the money. Maybe not in the perfect machine, but it's definitely good for right now. Uh, I feel nice and warmed up. Quads are nice and burning. Next thing we're gonna move into is a trap bar deadlift. Uh, this is more of a quad focused movement. And for my leg days, I've been alternating between trap bar deadlifts and squats for my main compound movement. Been really, really enjoying the two of them combined. And I'm using the lower grip handle here, so I'm getting a little more range of motion. Uh, and I'm gonna do four sets of at least five to eight. Um, really working on strength here, building up the quads. So that is the goal. And honestly, pretty big fan of trap bar deadlift. If you're not using it in your workout routine, highly recommend at least just trying it out every once in a while. I'm like leaking. I get this question a lot from like my like friends from here. They're like, dude, how do you not have AC in a garage gym? <sighs> this is what I live for. Like I love working out in the heat and like building up a really, really good thick sweat. Up next, I think I'm gonna burn out quads with the Smith machine. I'm gonna do like a leg press on it. To give you an idea of the setup, so we have the weight. I'm using these guards right here and the hooks are not on. Uh, I have this pad right here for support for my back. So I'm gonna get like almost parallel underneath the bar. 
as I lift that weight up, I'm gonna lower the safety racks to the lowest one. That way I get a full range of motion and I'm able to do my reps. So even though I have a dedicated leg press in the gym, I have to load so much weight on it it just takes forever and I have to take the weight off of everything else. So I've been using this Smith machine as a leg press and it's been working actually pretty freaking well. So I'm gonna do three sets, probably 12 to 15 reps if possible, really trying to get a burn on the quads. And to round things out for quads, I'm gonna finish with like a sissy squat uh, with some dumbbells and just go for a burnout overall. Pretty much going to failure for the three sets and I'm gonna superset it with the leg press. Oh man, all right people, that was a long workout, but honestly, a really, really good leg workout. Probably one of the best leg workouts I've had at home. So very excited to continue the home gym workouts. Uh, I will probably be canceling my gym membership because I haven't been to a normal commercial gym in two months now, and I don't think I'm ever going back. All right, so we're looking at the physique. I said there were some updates and uh, I wouldn't really say it's been good. Do I think I'm still progressing? Yes, and I actually think my physique looks slightly better than it did last week. I'm starting to see a little more striations like in the chest, a little bit more vascularity in the arms coming back. Um, definitely still some body fat around like the lower midsection and the back, but I think there could have been way, way more progress if it wasn't the week I just had. So I filmed my last video almost seven days ago. Since then, I have missed working out three days. One of them was the day before Perry's birthday and we spent time with her family and hanging out and stuff like that. Uh, the day after was Perry's birthday and we spent the whole day like out at a spa and like hanging out by the pool, doing all those kind of things. And then the day after that, so this was three days in a row that I didn't work out or do any cardio. Um, was the day I got my dumbbells delivered and my rack. So I spent the entire day unboxing the dumbbells, building the rack, putting everything up, and uh, I think it looks, one, really, really good, but it did take up a full day that I couldn't work out or do cardio. Actually, I just realized it's been four days I couldn't work out because I had a friend's wedding two days ago, um, and it was like an afternoon Friday wedding, and I couldn't work out because I left straight from work to the wedding. Uh, and I had a really good time at the wedding. I obviously drank and ate and did all those normal things that you would do if you were going to one of your really good friend's weddings. And so that obviously was a setback as well. All that to say this, there are no excuses. I did what I did. I knew what I was doing to myself and I'm prepared to make up for it in the weeks coming. I'm not gonna change anything as far as cardio and as far as calories because I didn't really give myself enough time at these calories and cardio to see what changes I'm gonna be able to make when I stick to it. And I'm not making any excuses as to why I didn't stick to my calories and my macros this week. I'm just being honest and I'm from with you guys of what happened. Uh, so weigh in this morning, 219.2. Now with that, uh, as you can kind of tell throughout the week, I was up pretty heavy throughout the entire week. I sat around 220 to like 221 the whole week and then dropped down a little bit uh, over the weekend. But we're still a pound heavier than where we were last week, so we definitely have some work to do. Um, that being said, I don't think I really have anything planned for a long while, so I should be able to put my head down and grind for at least the next few weeks. Also, the workouts that I did have were really good. I'm starting to get my groove down. I'm starting to get my training routine set up in the home gym. And now that I had the dumbbells, now that I have the leg curl, leg extension, everything is starting to flow so, so nicely. I'm getting good, good workouts. And I'm really, really happy with the progress of the home gym. Speaking of the home gym, look out for a video coming soon. I'm gonna break down every single piece of equipment in my home gym, whether I would recommend it or not, and what my plans are for future upgrades and future pieces of equipment to put in here as well. So if you're thinking about a home gym or you're just kind of interested in my little setup, uh, I'll be explaining every single detail of it in an upcoming video. So make sure to get subscribed if you're not already for that. But the plan for right now, I gotta do my cardio. It's just gonna be 15 minutes on the Stairmaster, nothing crazy, but I've been enjoying it. It's been going well. I have used the sauna twice this week as well. And so it really has been helping for recovery. Uh, and I'm definitely gonna use it more as the workouts get harder and the cardio gets more intensive as road to rip progresses. But all around weight, not ideal. Physique, 
maybe changing a little bit in the right direction, but I really think the next week or two is where we're gonna start to see a big, big change. All right, it's cardio done. I told you it was a long workout, two hours and 24 minutes. <sighs> I'm toast. Let's go eat. All right, quick shower. Uh, I have the grill preheating outside, and like most of my road rip videos, I wanna make like a meal prep recipe, a lot of food tonight. So I have some steak and some chicken, and it's actually both from Butcher Box. So I got two containers of chicken, uh, one container of steak. So we have the grass-fed beef tenderloin steak tips, and then the chicken tenders. Uh, there's about 20 tenders in there, and I don't know, maybe 10, 12 pieces of meat. The steak I'm gonna season with a new seasoning I got from Costco, Kinder's Prime Steak. Haven't tried it yet, feel like it's gonna be really good on this meat though. Now for the chicken, I'm probably just gonna have to get in there with my hands, but for the seasoning, I'm gonna use a combination of the Flavor God Everything Spicy and the Flavor God Original Barbecue. I feel like the combination of the two is gonna make for a really, really good mixture. And like I said, the only way I think I'm gonna be able to do this is just get in there with my hands and mix everything thoroughly together. All right, grill is fully loaded. Gonna let this cook up for a few minutes and we should be good to go. And while this is finishing cooking, let me remind you, if you want any TLF stuff, this is the time to buy it because not only can you use my discount code to get a discount on some already discounted items, but if you just send me a DM of your order confirmation using my discount code, you're entered to win $100 and we're picking a winner at the end of April. So you don't have a lot of time to get it in. So go check it out, link down below, and the code to use is just TLF-SUGS. Save 15% off your order, which is really, really good. All right, fresh off the grill, a humongous plate of chicken and steak. To go along with it for this meal, I'm gonna have one of these Path of Life quinoa and kale mixes, kind of like a really good all-in-one when you're trying to be quick for dinner. All right, people, this is a quite large meal, a lot of meat in here, and uh, I'm just kind of excited to try the meat to begin with. I wanna start with a chicken tender, but I also wanna talk about this right here. Uh, it is Polynesian sauce, but G Hughes Polynesian sauce, so instead of like 140 calories per tablespoon, yeah, it's only 10. Um, it's not as good as Chick-fil-A Polynesian sauce, but it's pretty solid and it gets the job done. Dip a little bit of that in there. Try out a tindy. Yeah, yeah, they're really good. They're grilled well. The chicken tastes good. The seasoning on there tastes really good too. Up next, we'll chat about these beef tenderloin bites. Whoa. First of all, the Kinder seasoning, very, very good. Uh, I might've used a little too much because it's pretty salty, but the tenderness on these, like it does feel like I'm eating a bite-sized filet, which is perfect. Cooked very good on the grill as well. Um, and all around, yeah, both the meats combined, very, very solid. Which means everything I've tried from ButcherBox has been very, very good. So if you're still kind of interested or thinking about that, uh, they are still doing the free ground beef for life when you start your orders in April. Uh, there'll be a link down below for that too if you wanna check it out. And the Path of Life Quinoa Blend, uh, I actually realized I was talking about this stuff like when I very first started my channel four or five years ago. Um, and it still holds true as one of the easiest and best well-rounded uh, sides for a meal for like a dinner meal. It's basic and it's good. And that's literally all it needs to be. So after the workout, I am very hungry. This meal is exactly what I was craving. It took a little while to make because I grilled everything, but like I have so many meals to make with this right here. Um, so I don't have to cook probably for the rest of the week. That is awesome. But this meal specifically, really, really solid. We have 730 calories in the meal. That's not bad at all considering the volume and the food that we have in here. Uh, under 1700 for the day and 172 grams of protein. Like I said, staying right in line with that like calorie to protein macro ratio that I like and fats and carbs look nice and balanced in there as well. I'm gonna eat this. I have to run to the store real quick because I forgot to grab something very special for, uh, for dessert tonight. All right, everyone, congratulate Perry. She just made Jags again. Second year. Joey made me this beautiful bouquet for all of you men making flowers for your 
significant other. You buy three different flower bouquets and then make one bouquet out of it. You take one of one flower, one of the other, slowly add them together, and it makes for a beautiful bouquet. Yep. So to celebrate, I'm making a creamy, not just any creamy, I got a banging recipe. Um, shout out Nick for this one. So starting out with this, I made this this morning. I'm pretty sure it's all the way frozen. It is about 350 grams of Fairlife fat-free milk and then 10 grams of fat-free, sugar-free, cheesecake, jello pudding mix. And then one scoop of protein. I'm using the PE Science uh, whey casein, and this is just the vanilla flavor. So we have our main mixture. Let's toss it in. After spin number two, here's how we're looking. Now for mix-ins, we're about to get kind of crazy. I'm, I'm gonna do half a serving of peanut butter and then three Oreo thins in there as well. And we'll put the lid back on and put it in the mix-in setting. And here we go, dessert is served. And uh, I'm pretty excited for this one. Quite a bit of Oreo, quite a bit of peanut butter. Whoa. If you've ever gotten the like Adam's peanut butter cheesecake at Cheesecake Factory, I think that's what it's called, it's been a while. But it has that like fluffy, kind of like a peanut butter mousse flavor to it and texture, honestly. Then you add the Oreos in there, that like chocolate cookie. I'm telling you, this thing is pretty, pretty freaking good. And so yeah, this might be one of my favorite recipes I've made so far. And Nick, my buddy who told me about the recipe in the first place said he actually used cookies and cream protein powder in it and it was very, very good as well. So if you have that, might be a good opportunity to try that as well. But just that half serving of peanut butter, I think made a really, really big difference. Uh, in the flavor of this thing. I was really surprised that just a half serving of peanut butter makes that much difference. Uh, Cause I did try it after the two spins before I added the peanut butter and it definitely changed the flavor quite a bit. All around this creamy recipe, definitely a winner. I'm probably gonna do a just creamy cookbook coming soon too. So that'll be something to look forward to. But in the meantime, let's look at the calories and macros for the day. Cause I feel like we actually did Pretty, pretty damn well. So under 500 calories for this entire pint of ice cream, and I used real Oreos and real peanut butter. That's insane. 475 to be exact. We are under 2200 for the day. That is ideal, 2160. And with that, well over 200 grams of protein, 220 on the dot with exactly 200 grams of carbs, 63 grams of fat. And that might be one of the most balanced days of eating we've had thus far on Road to Ripped. So extremely happy with today, extremely happy with the recipes and everything that we tried out, extremely happy with the workout as well. I'm just extremely happy. Hope you guys are too. If you did enjoy the video, always like the thumbs up, like the thumbs up, hit the thumbs up, and I will sadly, but definitely see you shortly in the next one. Peace. If you rockin' with it, put your hands up, yeah